Hello everybody, this is CypherSnake89, and I have returned once again, this time with something fresh, something new, and more importantly, this is the birthday of my good friend, VarietyGamer95! <laughs> Way to point that out, Snake. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be my birthday once this goes up, that's for sure. Yeah, well, guess what? We're doing this on your birthday. It is November the 8th. Wait, October. October, the 8th, the 8th of October. Switch OLED drops today, but most importantly, Metroid Dread is finally here. Yes, I know, people with an Australian account streamed it already. Yeah, yeah, spoilers. Well, this is for the everyman. And this is from a guy who has absolutely no idea what he's doing. <laughs> we were supposed to have our buddy Danny join us, but unfortunately he's stuck with work, so he's not going to be with us for a couple episodes at least. But I'm still here, and I'm here to enjoy it with my good buddy. So, this, the Prime games have no bearing on this. This is the original canon Metroid timeline. Started with the first Metroid, then Metroid 2, Samus Returns, then it goes to Metroid, Super Metroid, and then Metroid Fusion. Alright, so Snake is going to be the one doing the playing for right now. So let's go ahead and get the show on the road. Let's we got ourselves some save files here. All also, right. I picked up the Amiibos. If you guys want to see what they do, drop a comment. That's right. A vertebrate floating organism drained energy from its prey through physical contact. Metroids were originally created by the Chozo and named after the word Ultimate Warrior. Their value as a bioweapon sparked several crises. As a result, all traces of them have been eliminated. They are now extinct. Yeah! And guess who was responsible for that? The Galactic Federation! They're the ones that uh, put Samus up to it. And the reason that the Chozo created the Metroids was to keep these freckers in check. The X Parasite, a gelatinous parasitic organism indigenous to SR388. It could absorb the DNA of its host, living or dead, and replicate its form. When the infected hit a living host, it could even access the host's memories. X parasites were driven not by emotion, but an instinctive need to replicate and spread to increasingly stronger hosts. Their inability to be controlled marked them as even more dangerous than the sole predator to Metroids. Like the Metroids, they were believed extinct. So yeah. And there's the bounty hunter herself, Samus Aran. This is actually a flashback during the introductory sequence of Metroid Fusion, where Samus was helping a group of Federation scientists from the BSL research station. She got infected by an ex-parasite, and her suit and body became infected. There were no Metroids surviving on SR388, thanks to Mother Brain. For more information, go play Hey Metroid Other M. They became infested with the X, parasites that are capable of imitating any living being. Unaware of this, they set foot on the planet and got infected and almost died. And guess what saved her life? The DNA strands from the baby Metroid that she saved saved her life. The only thing that saved me was the vaccine created by um, the um, Metroid DNA which left me uniquely able to oppose the X. This ability was tested immediately when I went to the BESL research station to investigate a distress signal. A distress signal that was, that was created by her infected power suit. The S.A.X. There I battled powerful X forms, including the S.A.X, which was mimicking my, he and my power suit at full strength. I eventually eliminated the X menace on SR388 by sending the BSL research station to on a collision course with the planet. And what effective it was! After that, the X and the Metroids were just memories, or so we thought. Then, after it all seemed over, the Galactic Federation received a mysterious video transmission. An X parasite roaming on a planet. 
slaps. Through an analyst proof analysis proved the video was real, although the sender was unknown. The transmission was traced to a particular planet. And of course the Federation goes storming in. Complete idiots. Someone called ZDR. Oh, the eggs was somehow escaped there to pose a threat. They sent seven Emmy units to investigate. Yeah, seven Emmy units. Let's keep a count of that during this playthrough. Now, I would remind everybody who, who didn't play Metroid Fusion, the X parasites can mimic flesh, cyborgs, and technology. There were several mechanical beings, including a Chozo statue and a gravity team manipulating monstrous bioweapon called the Nightmare, which um, Samus initially discovered uh, during uh, other M's timeline, M's games, but also the X infected its remains and it returned in Metroid Fusion. And because the X parasites, once they have assimilated something, they can produce asexually. So, there could be as many as a hundred Emmy droids on the surface. And each one of them has the capacity to kill us. From CDR, communications is lost. Shocker! May I remind everyone again that when the Federation learned about the possibility of X parasites as a bioweapon, which Adam Malkovich thoroughly opposed when he was alive, they wanted to send in uh, an entire military to try and capture the SAX. But the X see them as just food. And now we get into the game. So, uh, loaded screens, everyone's favorite pastime, am I right? Uh. So, jo so Variety Gamer, you've uh, heard me rant on about um, my previous Metroid experiences. What are your impressions so far? It looks like it's going to be an interesting experience. That's what I can say. Let's see here. On a scale of 1 to 20, how boned are we? <laughs> Let's find out. I'm getting a crackling on my mic. Yeah, it's it's fine. It's crackling right now, but when I look back at the video, it's not going to be there. Okay. It's fine. So it's just my earbud then. Yeah. Yeah, for all those who didn't figure it out, that is the voice of the roboticized Adam Malkovich.ai. See? Lady? Oh. Only Adam Malkovich called Samus Lady when she was with his Omega Battalion of the Galactic Federation Army. Her suit was different from theirs because they were all, you know, standard military battle suits, but hers was endowed into her genetics by the Chozo. So they allow they had to allow her to keep her suit, but because she was the only woman on the team. Okay, what the fuck? <laughs> did I skip? No, I don't think you did. I think I did. Because I've seen this. Ah, oh, shit balls. Yeah. So what the fuck happened, Samus? Okay, so we came to here. Um, it looks to me like Samus crash landed. That elevator leads to the depths of an underground Okay, so we landed. Her suit looks a bit different from the way the fusion suit looked at the end, but I'm guessing this is the result of her assimilating, finally assimilating the SAX. So she made it down to the inner structure. Graphics look great, by the way. Uh-oh. Remember, since X are on this planet, any 
warrior. Any person could be an ex-host. Yep. Wait a minute. This guy's mural was on the- HOLY SHIT! It's a Chozo warrior! And he's got energy shielding. Oh, this must be like the Aeon powers from Samus Returns remake. But we have the counter ability! Did we get him? Ooh! Oh, that pissed him off. Oh, come on, come on. Show so, buddy. Show so, buddy! The frick? And yeah. that's how Samus ended up where she is now. Yeah, but our armor's blue now. We've been downgraded. Damn it. Yeah, the fusion suit doesn't look nearly as good now. It has some metal upgrades. Yeah, so we can't get there. Well, we can't get out. Alright, looks like we're in control now. Or at least Snake is. Okay, so... Slide... Slide. That's jump. So I take it B's jump? Yeah. B's jump, Y shoot from the looks of things. I believe the left stick has to be the one that moves. Hmm. Hold on. So it doesn't look like we can go right. It looks like we have to go left. Or maybe not. Okay, I have a start of 15 missiles, uh, but I'm not going to waste okay, them. Okay, yeah, we were supposed to go to the right. I don't have a charge beam. Mm -hmm. It looks like that guy ended up take, taking away all of Samus' equipment. So we have a slide maneuver, that's interesting. Yeah. L is free aim mode. And tilt control left stick to aim. Which is uh, up there. Uh. So hold L. There you go. Yeah, hold L and then you Oh, shoot. I can wall jump. Yeah. That's new. No, wall jumping was in Super Metroid. Which I can never master. Oh. So you can shoot while holding onto walls. Ledges. There we go. That looks like a save point, I think. Or, no! Ammo, Ammo already makes some capacity. Okay. Hold R to ready missiles and press Y to fire. There we go. Indestructible blocks are hidden. Ooh, I just got I just got damaged by something in the background. So you've accessed the network station. Well done, Samus. I have reviewed your vital signs and video log from the data you uploaded. I've run a full analysis, but I cannot account for why you lost consciousness. My readings indicate dramatic physical changes in you. Whatever caused these changes seems to have stripped you of most abilities. You might call it physical amnesia. I can't say I've heard that term. <laughs> that brings me to your assailant. I am checking the Federation database against your video log. It appears to have been a Chozo. The attacker's identity is not yet clear. I have determined that you are somewhere within the depths of ZBR. Your top priority should be to return to your ship on the surface. This situation is precarious. Trust your instincts as you navigate upward. <laughs> This planet appears to consist of multiple areas, shuttles, elevators, and other modes of transport connect them. Keep an eye out for ways to reach the surface. The ship's location is marked on your global map. Check it for yourself. You may encounter pockets of low temperature. Your metroid DNA renders you vulnerable to such environments. Spending time in cold areas will be harmful to you. There are many 
such cold areas scattered underground. Do not enter them with your basic power suit. One final thing. Underground interference is preventing radio transmissions. Check in with me at any network stations you find. This, yep, this is also how we save the game. So, com room and save station is now yeah. one and the same. Yeah, I would imagine that it's actually going to be marked on the map. The save room, I mean. In Super Metroid, the save room is marked with an S. Mm -hmm. But we can't see it right now with Samus' face in the way. Let's see. Okay, so this is going to be marked with a diamond up there. Hmm. Just brightness, rumble on. You know, I never actually asked you this. How do you feel about rumble in games? I I like it. It gives me a sense of connectivity. Really? Yeah. Huh. I'm indifferent to it personally. It's not not really something that I ever cared for. So usually I just turn it off. I don't wonder how Danny feels about it. Okay, so that is not a missile door. It has to be because you. Oh, never mind. I'm wrong. Whoa, crap! Melee counter. Press X. There you go. So looks like the counter is back from Metroid Samus Returns. Alright, so that it looked like you could have countered that guy. Yeah. yeah. Yes, the the parry mechanic is back, but fortunately the game is not built around it. Being enemy that has been stunned as a result of a counter will cause it to drop more items. Yeah, I know, but... <sighs> oh, fuck her, though. Yeah, it looks like the those energy orbs just store a lot of energy. Alright, so this couldn't get you. It doesn't look like there's anything underneath. Oh, so the items actually go towards you in this game. That's good to know. Yeah, so you... I think the game is encouraging you to parry that guy. There you go. Alright, there we go. There's extra rank to use a powerful dash melee. The dash melee will damage the enemy. Just like that. Hmm. Right, so this we can't do anything with that door. Until we get the until we get the morph ball, certain areas are Oh shit. Here. An area in the map is blinking, it indicates that a hidden item is there. Really? A hidden item, huh? I did see something red up there on the top. Yeah, you see those red lines up there? There you go. Missile tank upgrade. Missile tank acquired. There we go. So yeah. now we can hold 17 missiles. Yeah. That... Oh, we can't go back down, so we have to go to the right. Oh. He looks friendly. You might want to. Oh, there you go. Slider under an Emmy. Thank goodness, he's missing a claw. This guy's seen some battle action. Whew! Okay. And that was our first encounter with the Emmy. Yeah, very damaged uh, one. What the hell? That looks like it's cold. Which, whoo! Or maybe not. It looks like Samus' arm cannon got upgraded. Da 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 da
Omega Blaster Online. It's time to use A mode. Hold R to charge the Omega Blaster. It's charge, press Y while holding still. Still holding R. Okay, what? Keep holding it? There you go, now really- oh, what? That should've worked. There you go! That was right. I don't know why it didn't work the first time. Because I wasn't pressing the right button. Oh, okay. Alright, so... A lot of people will go- Oh, you were supposed to, uh... GOD! Current enemies attack to extend it for a Don't avoid! We shouldn't be too far back. No, that's not bad. Okay, let's go ahead and give that another try. So hold R, then press Y. Yeah, just get it ready before he approaches you. There you go. Fucking Christ. One down. And I guess that's it for the Omega Counter for right now. You know what? I don't believe anything is further to the right. No. Just gotta go back the way you came. Yeah, so that was our first encounter with the Emmy units, and that one had seen a lot of battle. Apparently, it was down. It was damaged, half infected, or whatever. We haven't actually seen proof of X parasites yet, but trust me, I know they're here. And now we can go back to the other door. Well, this looks like a save room. Yes. Oh yeah, I'm gonna save. Okay, that's nice. Okay, what's our uh, timing? Our timing, we are at 23 minutes, just about. Yeah, we can keep going. Well, we can't go to the right. So let's go to the left. Oh, water. Samus's greatest weakness. You should be able to... Yeah, duck. Oh, f find me in the Alps. Interesting. You think this will live with some of our abilities? No. An Emmy is here. Oh, uh, I getcha. Okay, I need double jump before I do that. I think all we can do is head down. Oh, God! Controls, man. And there's the second uh, one. Yep. So we don't have the Omega Cannon right now. You folks know what that means, right? Head for the hills. Thank goodness the Emmys can't get the... Oh, head left. Yeah, then you gotta jump to the right. I'm not entirely sure if wall jumps are really necessary. Let's see here. There you go. 
so I was able to evade it, the Emmy. Gotta find ourselves an Omega can Omega Cannon and blow it the fuck up. Ew! I hate you, Faith. Hey, another missile upgrade. Okay. I don't think there's anything through there. Yeah, but look. Open door? Closed door. Oh, well, I guess we can't go through. Gotta find another path. Another save room, it looks like. Hello, Adam. Uploading data. Both Emmy you encountered were clearly trying to capture you. They may have been hacked. If so, it's reasonable to assume all Emmy will be hostile. Yeah. They have become Emmy X. Emmy sent out calls to detect vibrations in the air within a certain range. Essentially, they can hear you. Mm-hmm. Upon detecting vibrations, an enemy enters surveillance mode to track their source. Stay out of its line of sight when this happens. Otherwise, the danger to you increases dramatically. An enemy that has seen you will begin pursuit. Part of the pursuit protocol is to seal the enemy's own exits. You will be trapped inside. That's why the door wasn't there when the enemy was following us, but the moment it couldn't get through the gap, it, the door opened. Exactly. You must leave its range of pursuit. Evade the enemy, and it will disengage. This will also unseal the exits. Yes, thanks. We figured that out. We just didn't know we the figured it out. Leaves its assigned zone. Their control system must permit them to operate only within that range. Yeah, we'll I see about that. Nine percent probability of death if an enemy captures you. There may be a very small opportunity to escape, but exploiting this window will be virtually impossible. The enemy are immune to your current weapons. You lack the unique energy used to defeat the first enemy. Your only option now is to evade capture and find an exit. Your highest priority in an enemy zone should be simply to survive. Yeah, thanks. All right, let's go ahead and save the game. And this is where we're going to end the first part. Check in with okay. us in part two. All right, we'll see you guys next time for part two of Metroid Dread.